Hey, how's everybody doing? Thank you for chiming in to House of Truth. All general messages may not resonate, but if you would like a personal soul session, feel free to email me at azariatheintuitive at gmail.com, and I'll be happy to assist you with the reading. Or you can Google House of Truth, leave me a message, I'll get back with you in a 24-hour period. Or you can Google House of Truth. Yeah. Google House of Truth, I'll get back with you in a 24-hour period. I pray that everybody's okay. Keep it safe, stay protected. Vital you keep up on your prayers and or meditations to build your own personal relationship with God. And having faith is the number one key. You ready to clear some of these energies? Clearing all negative energies. Nothing should be here other than who and what I have summoned. Calling in love. Calling in peace. Calling in light. I'm going to go ahead and get a general, in the general energy, Holy Spirit, my collectors, in the general energy of my collectors, Holy Spirit, in the general energy of my collectors, in the general energy, in the general energy, Holy Spirit. I'm going to get a major energy here out of this deck. Mm -hmm. I have a general energy, Holy Spirit. Wow. <laughs> Can I have a general energy, please, without them falling on the floor? Can I have a general energy, Holy Spirit? Two came out. It came out anyway. I seen it in the middle of the deck. At the bottom of the deck is divine masculine. Okay. Electric active power. Okay. We're dealing with a divine masculine. A male. Could be dealing with a male or a female who's in the uh, masculine energy. Grateful optimism. Very optimistic here. Okay. could be twin flame take it as a resonate but the message is about duality and this is about many meanings and a misunderstanding here okay number three is about things coming together you could be seeing a lot of threes you could be seeing a lot of sixes number 36 and coming together in harmony here okay Hmm. Clear. She's wearing a red dress. This is like her security of who she is. Very secure person here. The foundation of who this individual is. She's very secure within herself, right? <clears throat> At the top of her head, she's receiving some type of messages, but they're fragmented messages. If you notice, it's not like a big spark, a big ball of gold. It's like, I don't know if you can see that, like sparks, sparks of messages. Are, are, they're fragmented messages, you know? Wow. Okay, she's in a cave, you know, that's dark and the only thing that's lighting her, giving her light is this candle, which, you know, it's like having a, a little bit of hope, a little bit of, you know, could be studying too as well, researching. Calling in the energy of the collectives. Calling in the energy of the collectives. The skull is about death, 
trans going through a transformation uh, transitioning okay whoever this is could be going through a death endings beginnings letting something go someone is in the dark dark night of the soul calling in the energy of the collectives that's about seven of swords in reverse in the upright it's about someone being sneaking around here this could be about confessing coming clean okay with the seven needing to do some introspection and reflection here in regards of one's feelings okay or maybe that's what's going on and there's a lack of uncertainty or a lack of clarity here calling in the energy of the collectives can you shut the door calling in the energy of the collectives We got the three of wands in reverse. This is three of wands is about someone needing to release something here. Because the wands is about, you know, your ideas, plans, right? Projects, whatever the case may be, right? But with the three, there's a lack of coming together, a lack of teamwork because someone is needing to release something, a project, a person, whatever the case may be. And somebody is wanting to come clean or confess some things here. Okay. Needing to do or maybe they've done some introspection and reflection with the number seven. In regards of something that needs to be let go. A plan or idea or something of some sort. Okay. Y'all see that. duality calling in the energy of the collectives the well someone is waiting this is the well here I don't know like this is weird to me I've seen Catholics use this little thing in their churches right She's got like this thing, right? I don't know. She could be doing some praying, meditation, okay? Smudging the well, clearing energy, waiting. Like I said, there could be something that, you know, with the duality here, you know what I'm saying? This woman's very secure. Man, our woman is very secure within who who they are, right? But you got the well. Someone's waiting, needing nourishing, replenishing. Someone could be taking a break, taking a rest. Okay. They could be in this energy of contemplating, doing some introspection and reflection in regards of letting something go. Or they don't want to let something go. Wanting to confess something here when it comes to duality. Calling in the energy of the collectives. Calling in the energy of the collective. That's too many. Calling in the energy of the collectives. The king of cups in reverse. Someone is uh, upset. Okay, this King of Cups is upset, wanting to confess some things here. Come clean in, in regards to some stuff. Okay. With the King of Cups, like they talk about, they, they do put more action than talking. So there's less action and probably some talk, but it's not like positive with the swords and this wand that's upside down. Look like he got a wand in his hand. Someone could be missing you intimately too as well. Take it as it resonates. Calling in the energy of the collectives. 
Calling in the energy of the collectives. Calling in the energy of the collectives. This is a King of Cups in reverse. This is about the seven. There's a lot of introspection and reflection, contemplating, uh, going back and forth in one, one's head, you know. Someone's in their head. Okay. Someone's battling, going back and forth. Okay, seven of wands. This person is not fighting with anyone, but this is a mental thing. Calling in the energy of the collectives. Someone could be waiting. Someone could be taking a rest. Regenerating. Replenishing. Someone could be cleansing, smudging too as well. Claire... Calling in the energy of the collectors. Ace of Pentacles. Someone feels because if they wait too long, they can miss out on the opportunity or miss out on a, a blessing with the Ace of Pentacles in reverse. Okay. I feel like with the number 36, somebody feels like y'all go together. But I feel like uh, duality, like y'all probably stand in, in your own power of some sort. Someone is very secure. Like that, someone's got a new beginning, but someone's like just sitting there, right? Sitting on the fence. Something's sitting on the fence, I just heard. Calling in the energy of the collective. Calling in the energy of the collectives. The Ten of Cups. This is uh, someone's not emotionally fulfilled. Remember, the Cups is different than the Pinnacles. You know, if you got the Cups and Pinnacles together, you got like, you know, you got the whole shebang. You're financially stable and there's a lot of love in, you know, within a family dynamic or family unit, right? But with this King of Cups in reverse and then you got somebody's not. They're not happy. This King of Cups is not happy. And this King of Cups wants to confess some things here. Maybe make things right. C calling in the energy of the collectives. It's a lot of seven. Someone's doing a lot of introspection and reflection. Clarify the seven. I'm sorry. Calling in the energy of the collectives. Calling in the energy of the collectives. Calling in the energy of the collectives. I'm not going to take all of them. We got the Hermit card. Someone's in seclusion, withdrawing themselves, antisociable in regard, going back and forth in their head in regards of uh, releasing something, letting something go or not releasing something because you got the three of wands in reverse. This is someone who has finished certain projects relationships, projects, that there's something complete and getting ready to start on a new one, but it shows that someone is not willing to release to start something new. There's a lack of strength in reverse, and then you got the Queen of Swords in reverse. Someone not wanting to cut something out here. Someone's not being honest too as well with the Queen of Swords in reverse. Calling in the energy of the collective, someone is not allowing themselves to spiritually be guided, but alienating themselves or withdrawing themselves here. Okay. Uh, with the Ace of Pentacles, missing out on the opportunity because they're waiting. Someone feels like if they wait too long, they could miss out on something here. When it comes to the Page of Pentacles, communicating a new foundation. Pentacles is about laying new grounds, starting something new foundation wise okay this king of cups is upset this king of cups could be communicating how they're wanting to come forward and come clean in regards of how they really feel 
in regards of some things here. Their ideas too as well. They're going back and forth, maybe trying to figure out or trying to come up with an idea on how to communicate their feelings with this King of Cups. Because the King of Cups don't speak. They put more action than to, into speaking, right? This person knows that putting forth the action is... is uh, it's better than just words. So someone feels like they're going to miss out on an opportunity if they continue to wait. Someone could be praying, cleansing, smudging. Okay, take it as a resignate. Okay, at the bottom of the deck is the tower card, upheaval. Which is an ending. Someone's getting ready to lose everything or get ready to give up everything for this two of cups. That shit is crazy. Like whatever you've built and accomplished and acquired in life. Somebody wants this two of cups more than any. That could be get rid of. That's like giving up a house, family, cars, job for a two of cups. This could be a Leo, Aries, Sag. Take it as it resonate. Okay. It could be a Pisces, Scorpio. Uh, cancer, take it as a resonate. It's a lot of blue. Could be air, Gemini. Okay, let me get this other deck out. Clear. Can we clarify the seven of swords in reverse, Holy Spirit? Can we clarify the seven of swords in reverse? Can we clarify the seven of swords in reverse? Can we clarify the seven of swords? Somebody wants to confess, come clean in regards of how they feel with these swords here. Some things might have happened. Some things might have been done. Some things might have been said. Clarify this seven of swords in reverse. Seven of swords is clarified with this queen of pentacles. This could be a male or female. Okay. Uh, mature, grounded female. This could be a businesswoman. Uh, someone of high social status. Okay. Social butterfly. Very generous, loving, prosperous, successful financially independent wants to confess some things here whether this be male or female take it as a resonate very abundant okay can we clarify the three of wands in reverse three of wands in reverse holy spirit three of wands in reverse three of wands in reverse is clarified with the seven of wands in reverse Wow. It's somebody's like really having a mint. It says admitting defeat, feeling powerless, criticism, surrendering. Okay. When it comes to embarking up on some new idea, new opportunity, whatever the case may be, because they feel like they're waiting or someone's on hold or making someone wait too long they could make be making you wait too long or you're making them wait too long take it as it resonate with the well can we clarify the well holy spirit can we clarify the well can we clarify the well can we clarify the well holy spirit clarify the well it's clarified with the three of pentacles in reverse and that's about apathy. Someone is like waiting or don't care that someone's waiting. Okay. And like I said, there was some type it, it, here. Is that in there? No, but there's some type of conflict. It could be a mental conflict. Someone's in their ego, lack of teamwork. Okay. It could be competition involved is the reason why maybe someone is sitting back looking, waiting, not really approaching, moving forward, whatever the case may be. Okay, look, that's in the deck, confessions. Okay, somebody might want to confess something here. Maybe in regards of why they have you waiting. Clarify this King of Cups in reverse. Clarify this King of Cups in reverse, Holy Spirit. Clarify this King of Cups in reverse. 
clarify this King of Cups in reverse. King of Cups in reverse. Clarify this King of Cups. It's clarified with uh, creative expression. Like I said, this uh, King of Cups, the, the one, look at here. In reverse, right? Uh, like I said, the King of Cups is about taking action. This person does not speak. They just do it. They take a lot of action, right? So this person is upset. Like, they're, they're not. They're doing a lot of talking, but not taking the action when it comes, like I said, when it comes to moving forward, right? And expressing themselves creatively uh, when it comes to romantic pro proposals and offers or in invitation, taking action, uh, following their heart, okay? Somebody wants to come in and be that knight in shining armor. Somebody could take you out on a date or wanting to offer you, you know take you out here with the knight of cups okay this person could be moving very slowly moving very slow this could also be a king of pentacles instead of a queen of pentacles take it as a resonate or someone could have the queen of pentacles or want, wanting to make some type of offer take it as a resonate clarify this uh seven of wands in reverse i already did that one clarify the seven oh seven of wands I forgot double time. Actually, that's crazy. What is this behind here? Okay, that's the three of wands. Okay, someone, um, someone's in their head a lot, a lot. Okay, when it comes to admitting defeat, feeling powerless, they're probably criticizing themselves because they took too long. Take it as a resonate. Clarify the seven of wands in reverse. And people are, I keep bringing that up. That's in the last reading. People might be arguing over this. Clarify the seven of wands because I'm saying it. Clarify the seven of wands going back and forth. There's a battle, mental battle here. Okay. Got a lot of ideas on what it is that a person should do or want to do. But it's a battle. Like somebody's got an idea, but there's. Like, well, maybe I should do it this way, or maybe I should do it that way, or maybe I should say it this way, maybe I should say it that way. Clarify the seven of wands. This is what I should do. Maybe I should do that. Maybe I should do this. Yeah, which is causing a disruption with the eight of penalty. You know, somebody's so much in their head that they can't even work on anything. Like, you can't put any time, energy, and effort into something because someone is so much in their head and focus on well, how should I what should I do so with the hermit and hermit card in reverse someone's needing to get quiet come out of your head clear your mind and ask God to direct you in where and what it is that you should go you know what I'm saying with the eight of pentacles lack of mastery rewards and success not going anywhere not getting any anything done because someone is so much in their head laziness rush job lack of motivation mediocrity okay not putting in the work and the uh, the efforts here to come out of their head and make a choice and a decision to move forward okay coming together working together as a team can we clarify the ace of pentacles in reverse holy spirit can we clarify the ace of pentacles in reverse ace of pentacles in reverse holy spirit we clarify the Ace of Pentacles. Ace of Pentacles in reverse. Ace of Pentacles in reverse. Missing out on the opportunity. Look, marriage. Somebody is wanting that happy family. Somebody is wanting a happy life. Gatherings, marriage. Uh, looking at long-term uh, commitment and responsibility, stability, and security. Finding security within this. It has to be a connection here. Clarify this uh, Ten of Cups. Someone is not emotionally fulfilled within some. They could be already in a connection or there is a lack of uh, emotional fulfillment within a family dynamic. Someone could have just had a baby. Take it as it resonate. Clarify the Ten of Cups in reverse. Clarify Ten of Cups. And if that's the case, you guys just had a baby and you're missing out on the emotional fulfillment within a family dynamic. So people need to talk. You know, babies come along and 
okay? I also see that someone might not have wanted a baby, okay? Was not prepared for it. I put it like that, okay? Maybe this feeling like this was not the time, okay? Clarify this Ten of Cups in reverse, which could be putting a damper in someone's emotions here not receiving the emotional fulfillment within a family dynamic take it as a resonate clarify this ten of cups is clarified with investments communicating okay starting a new the pinnacle starting a new ground new foundation in reverse this is about bad news and earthly matters lack of goals lack of common sense being irresponsible Okay. And if someone didn't have a baby, it just shows that someone could be in a situation where they are not emotionally fulfilled and someone is not investing within a, maybe a family dynamic to, you know, to start over, you know, wipe the slate clean, communicate, you know, here and, and take the time to invest in a certain uh, situation, you know. Um, and this, in, in, there's a lack of emotions uh, here, is what I'm saying. Clarify the hermit. Like, this could be a family dynamic, but there's no emotional stability. Clarify the hermit in reverse. Needing to communicate here. And what it is that a person is willing to invest in within some type of family dynamic. Clarify the hermit in reverse. Clarify the hermit in reverse. Clarify the hermit in reverse, Holy Spirit. The hermit in reverse. Clarify the hermit in reverse. The hermit in reverse is clarified with the King of Pentacles. You got a Queen and King of Pentacles out here. Okay, the King of Pentacles, possessive, material, e exploitive. Not standing. So this King of Pentacles in reverse is feeling a certain type of way. Not feeling abundant. Feeling withdrawn. Secluded. Alienated. This person could be doing this to themselves due to the fact that someone is not working on a connection or a relationship here. Clarify this page of Pentacles. Okay. Needing to find the joy and happiness within this right and all it takes is communication clarify this page of pentacles clarify this page of pentacles clarify this page of pentacles page of pentacles is clarified with the ace of cups sadness because somebody wants to communicate starting something new this could be someone who is younger take it as a resonate but they're sad feeling as if they are going to miss out on this ace of pentacles or uh em this e then i say emotions this is the uh, ace of cups <coughs> okay they're needing to speak up they could be repressing their emotions right and have infertility someone could be wanting a baby with infertility in reverse or had a miscarriage hoping that this would be a new foundation or a new start for someone take it as a resonate my heart goes out to you if that's the case can we clarify duality can we clarify duality duality is clarified with refusing to compromise giving in stubborn rigid obstinate last one this is the wounded warrior in reverse. Clarify duality. Many meanings, but there's a misunderstanding here. Someone's receiving fragmented messages here. Very secure with who they are, but there's a lack of guidance is what I'm seeing. Someone's needing to go in and do some introspection and reflections. And when it comes to allowing a cycle to come to an end with the Ten of Wands in reverse, there's some type of collapse, breakdown, a lot of responsibility, needing to learn to say no. You could be with someone here who you're just giving and giving. Take it as it resonate. Can we clarify duality? Can we clarify duality? Can we clarify duality? 
Duality is clarified with judgment in reverse. Failure to learn, self-loathing, very indecisive here. There's some type of misunderstanding. Okay. Can we clarify uh, judgment in reverse? Somebody is not wanting to be judged. Someone's not wanting to face judgment. Someone is um, maybe wanting to leave the past in the past. Can we clarify judgment in reverse? Clarify judgment. If someone's like uh, not receiving. Someone's needing to work on their crown chakra when it comes to your messages. Okay, needing to yeah connect spiritually. Con clarify judgment in reverse. Clarify judgment in reverse. Judgment in reverse is using manipulation in order to, um, yeah, somebody don't want to be judged, or somebody don't want to be, uh, don't want judgment on their hand, uh, because they're manipulating a situation, trickery, wasting talent, illusions, being deceptive here. And this is probably why someone is feeling very secure with who they are. Someone sitting on someone else's new beginning. I feel like this is a blockage. And if you notice, this duality and this Queen of Pentacles are wearing the same color dress. Letting go of the past. Like I said, somebody might not want to be judged or face judgment. Letting go of the past and, past and focusing on the future. Okay. Clarify duality. Clarify duality, Holy Spirit. Clarify duality. Duality is clarified with the high priestess. This is something that someone is not aware of or someone is using magic in order to distort someone's perception in regards of a connection here. Secrets, confusion, blocked intuition. Yep. That's why she's getting fragmented. Uh messages here there's a lack of spiritual connection because someone has hidden motives okay so this could be a like a mother sister auntie whatever the case may be okay could be involving themselves in another connection could be mother father brother cousin too as well this could be someone that you are not even with <coughs> <coughs> This could be someone that you went with, a past, okay? Because this is a uh, judgment in reverse, wanting to leave the past in the past. Clarify this page of pentacles. It's 32 already. Clarify this page of pentacles. There's no communication when it comes to investing in a new beginning here. Clarify this page of pentacles. Page of pentacles in reverse is clarified with... Indecision, delays, postponement, seeing the truth, things being exposed when it comes to why someone not really conversing here. Oh, I got it. I sure did. Okay. Clarify the Knight of Cups in reverse. Clarify the Knight of Cups. Empress. I forgot about her. Clarify this Knight of Cups in reverse. Someone not moving forward. Why are they not moving forward? Why are they not moving forward? And it could be that, like I said, with those wands, there's a lot of, yeah, look here, imbalance, self-indulgence, excess, clashing, lack of perspective, discord, recklessness. Someone's not moving forward, okay? It could be an imbalance. Releasing toxicity or needing to release toxicity first in order to have harmony. Okay, take it as it resonates. Why is this person can't move forward? It could be uh, some type of clash too as well. Clarify this devil in reverse. The king of cups once again. Oh yeah, this king of cups is releasing toxicity is the reason why they haven't moved forward. Okay, clarify this feeling as if they were going to miss out on a blessing here, but someone is trying to distort someone's thinking here. Clarify duality. That's what I feel with this fragmented uh, light coming from this person's head. 
Yeah, with the number nine, cycles are getting ready to come to an end. And here we go again. The Hermit card, loneliness, paranoia, isolation, being reclusive, withdrawing, antisociable, restrictive. Okay. At the bottom of the deck is a two of cups. Somebody's wanting this connection. Somebody is an earth angel here. Yeah, this earth angel could be with a devil or a demon with the devil here. Okay, this uh, earth angel is bound or tied to something here when it comes to, uh, yeah, somebody is in this earth angel's energy. There's a two of cups and the devil and the earth angel in between the both that is here. Clarify this devil. Clarify the devil. The devil is clarified with the page of wands. In reverse, impatient, hasty, tantrum, unreliable, distracted, and I feel like something is involved to distract two people from coming together. Clarify this uh, temperance, which is an earth angel. Clarify the temperance. Clarify temperance, earth angel, Holy Spirit, temperance. Clarify temperance is clarified with investments. Rewards, patience, perseverance, diligence, progress. So this... Earth Angel is investing in a two of cup and bound by a devil. The hell is going on here? Clarify this two of cups. Clarify the two of cups. Someone has is in a got a spiritual connection. Two of cups is clarified with the nine of swords in reverse. Opening up self-pity maliciousness malicious gossip breakdown scandal with in this two two of cups like i said other people are are involved or talking about it then i say talking look eight of wands hastiness speed there's quick fast communication or someone wants to quickly come your way and communicate clarify travel someone could be at a distance Okay, clarify this Eight of Wands. Wow. Clarify the Eight of Wands, and I'm out of here. Clarify the Eight of Wands. Clarify the Eight of Wands. Holy Spirit, there's communication. Eight of Wands is clarified with the Ace of Wands in reverse. Yeah, somebody wants to come in fast because they don't want to miss this opportunity. This person could also want to be with you in an intimate way, too. With the page of wands and reverse uh, at the back of the deck. Moving forward here. Yeah, hasty, gullible. Like somebody wants to move forward before enthusiasm is lost. Clarify this ace of wands. Outpour. Missed opportunity. Ace of Wands in reverse, and then I'm out. Ace of Wands in reverse is clarified with wanting to leave the past in the past. With the Six of Cups in reverse, stuck in the past. And this is the reason why someone feels like they're going to miss out on the opportunity. Okay. Not taking that leap of faith because someone's in their head. Again, what's the conclusion? What's the conclusion? What's the conclusion, Holy Spirit? What's the conclusion? What's the conclusion? Healing from a broken heart, three of swords in reverse. Uh, something's going to happen where it's going to allow someone to be very forgiveness, optimism. Sup yeah. Suppressing the memory, right? Reconciliation, but instead of working on it, someone's going to suppress it, okay? Someone's uh, needing to stand within their power, will of fortune, stuck in a cycle with the two of cups in reverse. This is the reason why someone cannot accept the offer from the star. And I said someone else is involved. Like I said, like, this could be a mother, a sister, uncle, brother, cousin, auntie. Okay. Yeah. What is this duality? What time is it? Duality. I got to go. Duality. Who is this duality? What is this duality? What's the energy of this duality? Wow. 
Yeah, their community. Uh, this, like I said, it's a family member, friend communicating with your person. Are you duality? Yeah, this is like a family member telling someone to let go of the past. Leave someone alone, focus on the future, and somebody is like in their head about it. Duality. They don't want to leave this connection alone. Two of cups, I just seen it. Yeah, refusing to compromise. Rigid, last one standing. Someone is not wanting to get out, give up on a connection. Yeah, fulfillment. Because someone brings someone fulfillment. And this earth angel has is nurturing a demon and trying to nurture a two cups and someone's needing to make a choice that's been your reading